another good reason why you should learn how to drive yourself around or, or understand that it's best to know how to drive yourself around is because if you relocated to Atlanta from Memphis, Tennessee, or Memphis to California, and you have cars, Zola, keep that in. You have cars or vehicles. You don't want to sell all of your cars or leave your cars behind and start riding uh, public transportation. You know, you, <laughs> you want to take your cars with you and you want to, the key is to always live the way you are accustomed to. The, the faster you understand that, the, the better and the faster you integrate into the, the African country of your choice, which we are here in Ghana as of now. And we plan to integrate into many countries because we are one Africa, one African. We believe we deserve to be anywhere we have paid the, the the price so you want to get your vehicle you want to drive it's normal it feels more normal to you as a diaspora african to drive your own car so that's why we have us a car we learned early on we learned very early uh, you know it, it it is best to drive to be safe to uh, drive for yourself because when you get in cars and taxis and tro trolls especially you don't know who they got behind these wheels and a lot of these folks huh baby a lot of them be little young folks be some crash dummies I'm gonna keep it all the way real be some real crash dummies at the same time and they just drive with no responsibility they trying to get there the fastest so they can get back to the starting place and, and pick up more riders, pick up more people so they can make more money for the day. So a lot of times the Trotro drivers, which are the main choice of transportation around, they are pretty much, you know, they, they driving really, really fast and out of control. So we want to let you know ahead of time that it's best to drive yourself, to get around so that you can know your way around. Uh, it's best to always come in, in preparation of, of, of learning your way around when you're living here, no matter what short period of time, what period of time you live here. When you stay somewhere, you live there. If you're there for one night, you live there. If you're there for two nights, if you're there for six months, three months or whatever, don't get caught up in the hoopla of people telling you you don't really live in Africa unless you live there 365 days of the year. That's not true. You are living there. You are going in the direction that is best for you to get acclimated to living in Africa. And that's what you are doing. And it's okay. Everybody's situation is different. For me, myself, and my husband, my family, we have a family that we love and care about and we don't want to be separated from them for no long periods of time and take a chance, baby, let's go. Take a chance on anything happening to them where, uh, you know, because we are being gone a long time. No, we're grooming our whole family, generations in our family, cousins, uh, uh, aunties, uncles, young cousins, which we call second or third generation. It's my second cousin, my third cousin, whatever. We call all of those people's brothers and sisters in Africa. But no matter what, we are grooming all of our family members that are good people. The key, you know, the key is the good children, the good people, the righteous people, are the ones that sh are the ones that should come. We don't have time to reprimand people that you know have not you have not trained properly or you haven't given them the means and the gems to do the right thing in life or you have been away from them and you didn't teach them right and you expect for them to learn all these things on their own. But those are stories for 
another uh, episode or another video. So, but back to what I was saying, we want to come, we want to acclimate ourselves quickly, we want to integrate ourselves quickly, and we want to know our way around and we want to move around on our own because it really helps us integrate and, and makes our, our process very easy and better for us as diasporan Africans. Right here in Atlanta, our ancestors, we are happy and we are here. Nice morning. How are you? Oh, next time, brother. Next time, I will get some from you. Not today, market no good. Not today. You got to try it. I know, I will. How much do you sell? It's 20 cities. 20 cities, okay. So next time I will look for you on the road. Are you sure? Oh, I'm sure. And when you see me, when you see yeah, this truck, come you, you come straight. Yeah, no, and you yeah, say, yeah. Mommy, yeah. remember, you say you were about to soak, and I was good. Okay, okay, okay. Uh -huh. Oh, one love. That's how we do in Ghana. Hi.